So factoring, it's when a business decides to sell a product or service that isn't in line with what their original merchant account was set up for. That term is actually used in a number of different spaces in the financial world. There are tons of reasons that this is a problem, but the core reason that factoring is an issue um, is because of money laundering. So the federal government in the United States uses this uh, rule as a mechanism to make sure that credit card processing companies aren't inadvertently allowing businesses to just funnel money through their company. Now, outside of that, there's also this massive chargeback liability. So for example, you have a liquor store, or let's say Uncle Bob has a liquor store. Um, his average transactions are maybe $50. And maybe the biggest transaction he runs is two or 300 bucks when somebody comes in and stocks up for a party or a thousand bucks or something. But then you decide that you wanna sell a car. And Uncle Bob says, sure, you can sell your car. We'll just swipe the transaction through my liquor store because the person that wants to buy your car wants to put it on a credit card and you wanna sell the car. When you do that, let's say you sell the car for $8,000. Uh, I don't know what kind of car that is, but let's say you sell it for $8,000. The problem is that person that bought the car is gonna walk away and if they dispute the transaction, they're going to win because the credit card processing company and the banks behind it are gonna look at that $8,000 transaction and ask the business owner what they sold. The business owner's gonna say, oh, well, it was a car. And the credit card processing company's gonna say, you can't sell cars through your merchant account. And the transaction got disputed, you don't even sell cars. The business owner's gonna lose out, that $8,000 is gonna get pulled out of the account. The person that disputed the charge has, I mean, why would they buy a car from a liquor store is what they're going to say. No, liquor stores don't sell cars. That's sort of the inherent problem for a business owner and for the credit card processing company. The good news about factoring is that the likelihood of that transaction ever going through is pretty low. That's sort of the genesis of why credit card processing companies hold money for things too. They're trying to protect against situations like that. Today, other scenarios where you see factoring are when people want to sell a product that's illegal or that a merchant account provider won't approve. Historically, we've had situations like medical marijuana, CBD at times, Kratom, or let's say you wanna sell um, a higher dollar amount transaction, which is the example I just used kind of, but a higher dollar amount transaction than what you were approved for for your merchant account. All of those are scenarios where a business owner might run the transaction anyway, and it would change the risk profile for the credit card processing company. So outside of this uh, money laundering consideration, they're trying to protect against chargebacks. And even if it's not a car being sold, if it's a product that your account wasn't underwritten and approved for, the merchant account provider doesn't know what the risk profile is. So if you sell supplements online and you sneak in a little marijuana um, or different type of substance um, that is blatantly illegal, who knows what the chargeback likelihood is gonna be for that. You're definitely not gonna win it, so it opens up the door for all of these problems um, for the back-end credit card processing ecosystem. A little rambling answer on factoring, but that's the basics of it. It's when you use your merchant account to sell a product or service that it was not originally approved for.